So the FTC exists to protect the public from unsafe business practices, okay? And the FTC has, you know, put out this report. It's really long. <laughs> and they say that non-compete bans suppress wages and restrict the freedom of workers, and they suppress entrepreneurship, and they stifle new businesses. Non-competes are really widespread in this economy. I actually, until I started doing the research for this episode, I had no idea how widespread they were. They affect one in five American workers, about 30 million people. That, that's a lot. That's a huge portion of this economy. And ending non-competes is expected to raise wages in the U.S. by about $300 billion, that's billion with a B, $300 billion. Um, so it is effectively going to increase wages. What's really interesting, um, because there's going to be some lawsuits, there's, there is already some pushback against this, but what's interesting is that the studies are very, very clear that non-competes are bad, <laughs> um, and that also a lot of the uh, effect of banning non-competes is really positive throughout the economy on multiple fronts. And we are able to know this because there are a couple natural experiments that have happened. Um, for example, and I will link to the in the show notes to the New Yorker article where I found this information. There's a researcher who um, looked at this and wrote some papers. I'm blanking on the name, but I will link so you can go find that. 